Come with Susie Maxwell, one of the nation's foremost women golfers, on an island-hopping golf game in Hawaii. See her play nine outstanding golf holes under sunny Hawaiian skies with top local pros. Fly the friendly skies of United across the blue Pacific to Honolulu, guarded by familiar majestic diamond head. Step off into the sunshine of lush, tropical Honolulu. City of aloha and flowers. Honolulu is just a base for our island hopping golf game. For our first hole, we're going to the big island of Hawaii in the shadow of 14,000 foot Mauna Kea to Lawrence Rockefeller's fabulous new Mauna Kea Beach Hotel, a pleasure dome built on a golden beach. And surrounded by a luxurious championship golf course. Here at Mauna Kea, the female pro is Miss Jackie Punk, an old friend of Susie Maxwell. Jackie is well known to islanders and mainlanders alike, having toured on the LPGA pro circuit for many years. Now here's Susie herself to tell you about playing this hole. This is the ninth at Mauna Kea. It's a 422 yard par four. The tee is elevated about 60 feet above the fairway. Right down the middle. Here goes my first shot in Hawaii. Heading right for those lava beds. It looks like it's heading straight for the pin. That really was a lucky shot, considering the side hill lock. Nice shot, Jackie. Uh-oh, it's breaking too soon. It's always a pleasure to play with you, Jackie. We don't have time to play Mauna Kea's famous third hole, but let's drive over and take a short look at it anyway. It's a long 200 to 250 yard carry over the ocean, depending on what tee you're using. Teeing off right now is Robert Trent Jones, the architect who designed this golf course. And what do you know? He drove right into his own trap. Nice out, Mr. Jones. 
We hate it, but we've got to leave the beautiful Mauna Kea Beach Golf Course and the island of Hawaii. We'll island hop to the valley island of Maui, just 20 minutes north of Hawaii, and see another beautiful county in our 50th state. And we'll be playing golf at Kaanapali Beach, the playground of old Hawaiian royalty, on one of Hawaii's most beautiful courses, the Royal Kaanapali Golf Course, scene of the 1964 Canada Cup, with Mr. Morgan Futrell, director of golf at this fabulous course. Here's Morgan and Susie before their game on the terrace at the nearby Sheraton Maui Hotel. But we can't stay indoors. Let's hurry out and catch them on the tee at hole number eight, this is a 473-yard par four, dog leg to the left. There's a gigantic water hole just to the right of the fairway in the green. It's called the Pacific Ocean. Push this shot to the right side of the fairway. Morgan drove his straight down the middle. Here at Royal Canapali, their fleet of Cushman electric golf cars is painted a brilliant yellow. Didn't you know I pushed it just enough to hit the beach? Straight down the middle again. Robert Trent Jones designed this beautiful course too, so you know it's plenty tough. I was just a couple of feet out into the sand, and the ball had to be picked clean out of the sand so it would carry over the traps and onto the green. Uh-oh, that's a little bit too much. Easy par for Morgan. But a big fat bogey for me. But one hole here at Royal Kaanapali isn't nearly enough. Let's watch Susie and Morgan play one on the back nine. This is number 17, a 502 yard par five with the fairway sloping off to the left all the way. All I can hope to do on a long hole like this is use a fairway wood and get into position for an easy shot to the green. But I almost got into trouble instead. Stop! Stop! 
Looks like Morgan's going for it all the way with a four-wood. Hey, you're on! for you. Congratulations. Hey, there's something in the water down there. It's a whale. Look at that. See it spouting? Wait, it may come up again. There it is. Wouldn't want to be skin diving down there right now. Here, I'm not through yet. Got to make this birdie putt. Thanks a lot, Morgan. I've enjoyed it. Whale and all. Hope to get back to Royal Canapale real soon. But now we're island hopping again. This time to the garden island of Kauai. Said to be the greenest island of all. And it does look that way from the airplane. We'll be playing first at Waialua Golf Course, one of the longest golf courses in Hawaii. A perfectly beautiful municipal course near Lahui, Kauai. Bing Crosby said he thought this was the most beautiful golf course he'd ever played. The whole course is laid out alongside this glorious empty beach where you can gallop for miles. That's Mike Dietz with Susie, the pro here at Waialua. Mike was on the tour for 15 years. He's getting ready to tee off on number 18 here, going away from the ocean and back toward the clubhouse. This hole is a dog leg to the right, 397 yards, par four. Watch this and you'll see where I get into some trouble on this hole. Off to the right again, I'm having a little bit of trouble that way. You can't see the green from the tee so I wasn't sure where I was going. Hey, where's the green, Mike? I can't see it. Well, I gotta make it over those trees. All I could do was hit and hope. But I made it on. is another beautiful green and another beautiful putt and another beautiful golf course. I'd sure like to stay, Mike, but we're off again. To another beautiful golf course on this same island of Kauai, the Kauai Surf Golf Course, a new course built in connection with this beautiful Kauai Surf Hotel. there's a torch lighting ceremony like this. And here's the pro at Kauai Surf, Bill Schwally with Susie, relaxing on the night before their match. Quite a place to relax. 
And this number seven hole at Kauai Surf is a wonderful place to relax too. Take a look at that beautifully manicured green. This is a 150 yard par three on this brand new golf course designed by Willard Wilkinson. Downhill all the way to that gorgeous green. On and pretty close to the pin. And here's Bill's tee shot. They're both good ones. Notice the tree growing right out of the sand trap in back of the green. That's unusual, isn't it? That was really a warm-up hole. Now let's move on to a par four here at Kauai Surf, another spectacular golf hole here in the islands. a short 310-yard par four, a catch-up hole, but it's perfectly beautiful. The ocean is over those cliffs to the right. I'm going to put all I've got into it, including my hat. A little short. But Bill Schwally's tee shot was off to the right, about 50 yards short of the green and almost into the ocean. There's a blowhole down there just beyond where his ball went. When the sea's rough, water shoots up 30 feet into the air. Quite a hazard indeed. But he wasn't in such bad trouble that he couldn't recover. Hut, Bill. You came close to having a double bogey, but instead you ended up with a birdie. But we're leaving Kauai now, heading for the island of Oahu, and so we board the jet for another 20-minute hop to Honolulu, with the sun setting over the harbor as we see the last of Noeliwili, Kauai. Of course, Honolulu is the capital of Hawaii, and a great, fast-growing modern city with lots of wonderful hotels and lots of wonderful golf courses to choose from. First stop, as on every island, is to rent a sparkling new car. Then a quick tour around town, check in at one of the beautiful hotels, and Susie's ready for a game. This is the famous view from Nuuanupali, there's where we're heading, the Pali Municipal Golf Course. In Hawaiian, Pali means cliff, and that's what you find around this amazing golf course, cliffs. Susie, meet Joe Spencer, pro here at the Pali almost since the day it opened. Joe and Susie are going to play number 18 here at the Pali, and a beautiful hole it is, uphill all the way to the clubhouse. It's a 415-yard par four with a slight dog leg to the left and a deep gully on the left-hand side.
Both of our shots were in good position, away from the gully on the left. This is a slow motion shot. How to improve your game in Hawaii. I'm hitting him a little better now. Joe pulls his ball to the left. Nice recovery. Mine's not quite a gimme. Weeps, I almost missed it. The municipal courses here in Honolulu are wonderful. I'd like to come back and play Polly again. Thanks, Joe. But right now, we're on our way to another course nearby, Mid-Pacific Country Club. Susie, meet Gary Robinson, assistant pro here at Midpack. Howdy, Gary. Ready to play? Just 150 yards, but all over water. I used a seven iron here. I was almost pin high, but it looks like I'm knee deep, too. Gary hit a nice shot up near the pin. I didn't know whether I could hit my ball or not, but I thought I might as well go look at it anyway. And sure enough, there it is, and I'm willing to give it a try. Boy, did I get wet on that shot. I figured I might as well take the other shoe off, too, before finishing up this hole. I'll try to do better next time, Gary. Now let's travel over to the other side of the island of Oahu and play our last hole at Hawaii Kai Golf Course, a development of Henry J. Kaiser on the far side of Diamond Head. This is another Robert Trent Jones course, but it's a short one, all par three except for two par four holes. Here comes Susie with her new opponent, the pro here at Hawaii Kai. Meet Guinea Cop. Guinea has the distinction of being the oldest man ever to make a cut in a PGA-sponsored tournament, the Hawaiian Open. It's number 15 at Hawaii Kai, just 180 yards and all downhill. Guinea, they're waving us on. Let's hit the ball. tough green to stick on, but we both managed to get on and stay on. The 
thanks for the give, Guinea. Golly, I hate to see that ball drop, because this is our ninth hole, and it means the end of my Hawaiian golf holiday. Thanks, Guinea. It's been great. It's tough to go back, but I've got to pack up and leave. Everybody says when they leave the islands that they'll be back soon. I know I will. There's lots more to see and do here in Hawaii. I'll have to hurry to get home so I can come back real soon. Bye.